Fortnite squad. Hey everybody, it's your boy C Tech Dude here again today to tell you something really cool, really awesome, world exclusive. Only you find it here on my channel. And that is how to get your Fortnite mobile working with your PS4 controller on your Android phone. Yes, you heard me correctly. PS4 controller, Fortnite mobile, working perfectly. You're here, here. You're gonna hear here first, guys. Here we go. Now, yesterday, I told you that the PS4 controller, which I have here conveniently, would not work with Fortnite mobile, and that's true. Uh, it doesn't work via Bluetooth or via USB OTG, but it does work if you have the right kind of adapter. So, here's what you're gonna need, guys. First, you're going to need a USB OTG adapter. Now, for all you Samsung Galaxy S8 and above owners, you have one of these in your box that came with your phone to transfer data, and guess what? This works perfectly. So, you need this. You also need a phone that supports USB OTG, which most newer Android phones do. So, once you have that, you're also gonna need one more thing, and this is the major part of this project. You'll need the 8-bit dough wireless USB adapter. So what this does, this is made for a Nintendo Switch to be able to use PS4 controller on your Switch, but if you plug it in to your USB OTG adapter, like so, plug it into your Android phone, pair it with your PS4 controller, it works beautifully. Not only does it work beautifully, it works awesome. I mean, beautifully is a good word. Yeah, beautifully. Let's stay with beautifully. So it works fine. Um, the only caveat, the only hindrance is that the button mapping is a little weird, so it'll say Y, which is for Xbox, but you'll use triangle, uh, same for X with A. So the buttons are meant for Xbox One, that's what it's going to show up on your screen, but you should be able to figure it out pretty pretty quickly, because it's the same layout, just uh, different different icons, basically. So once you have your 8 bit dough adapter, your USB OTG adapter, you're going to plug it into your phone. And then you're going to put your PS4 controller in pairing mode using the PlayStation button and the share button. Hold those down until the PS4 controller starts blinking rapidly. So that's a good sign. That's in pairing mode. So now you're going to put your 8-bit adapter in pairing mode as well. So you're going to put the little hit the little button on the bottom. It'll put in, it'll put it in pairing mode. It'll start blinking rapidly as well. And guys, it'll automatically find the PS4 controller, connect to it. The light on the PS4 controller will turn green so you know that it's working. And that's it. It's pretty pretty simple setup, and it works awesome. Uh, it's really cool. So I'm gonna show you some quick gameplay of that, and that's about all I got for you guys. That's it's really awesome. Works really well. I like it better than the Xbox One controller personally. It's a preferential thing, so you may like it uh, the Xbox One controller more. That's fine. Anywho, ladies and gentlemen, that's all I got for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was useful to you. If it was, make sure you leave a thumbs up for me because I appreciate those. Also, make sure you subscribe for more cool content like this. Anywho, anywho, guys, I'm CE Tech Dude. You just got CE Tech. See you next time. Have a great day. CE Tech Dude out. Peace. See you.